Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So now we have learned about the XML HTTP request. So we have a solid understanding about this XML HTTP request object. So we clearly understood about this HTML XML HTTP request object and how we need to use and all those things we have understood, right? Now it's time for us. So this is the old way of implementation of this HTML HTTP request. So this is the old way of implementing the Ajax functionality. So then, why we have learned these all things? So you may be getting a doubt. So why we have learned this one is we need to have a solid foundation. So the solid foundation we need to have in the front-end development. If you are want to carry it as a front-end development or full-stack development, so we need to have a solid understanding these all things, how Ajax came and how this one older browsers. If you want to have the older browser support means, so you need to do with the XML HTTP request object only. So now, what is the newer way or what is the Oh, a new way of implementation is that is nothing but fetch api okay fetch so we will use to implement ajax using the fetch api so this one is provided by the browser itself so like a dom api file api like this feature is also provided almost all the browsers uh, natively supports this fetch api so there is no problem at all but the problem is <clears throat> xml http request uses the callbacks right but the fetch api uses the promises okay fetch api uses promises so this is the main thing you need to understand so what is this promises so rely on it's so fetch api always relies on the may most relies on the promises thing what is a promise then so promise so this is the javascript method so which was in interview which was developed introduced in the es6 okay implementation so promise means what i can say is so it is an asynchronous way of implementation. So whenever you are trying to implement a method, okay, so whenever you are trying to uh, execute a function and you don't know when this uh, data you will be getting, so that will return you a promise. Promise means so I will return you the data when I get the data. <clears throat> so that is a place where the promise is very useful. So promises are time independent. Okay, promises are time independent. So that means we cannot estimate the time when when this promise will be resolved so when this promise gets success and also promises are immutable okay this is also important thing so if you want to know more about my about the promises concept and all those things i have already covered the videos in the es6 so you can take a look at the promises concept so just i will be <clears throat> so i have, I have uh, given so a lot of examples like the methods also promise dot raise promise dot all like that so many methods also i have introduced there so you can check those videos in my ES6 playlist. So fetch API uses the promise. So we will uh, before go continuing into this one, just we will see a simple promise how the promise will be implemented. For example, if you go to the here, okay, into this one. <clears throat> if I open this inspect element, okay. So I have opened this inspect element. There is this inspect element gone somewhere. It has been gone. Yeah. Okay. Let me slow okay so now in order to get xml http request what you need to do xml http xml http request I don't remember exactly html http request okay so this is a function so let's see that fetch will be available or not see fetch will be fetch is available and that too it's a <clears throat> it's also a function for calling xml http request we cannot call it like this so directly we cannot call the XML HTTP request, we cannot call like this. Why? Because it is a constructor function. So let's try to see whether we can call this fetch API or not. Yes, we can call the fetch API. It's not a constructor function. We can call directly the fetch, fetch function like this. And this returns a promise. Okay, so this is returning a promise. Forget about this error thing. So it is asking at least one argument is required. So I am not passing any argument. That is the reason we are getting an error. So we'll try to pass the arguments afterwards. But this returns a promise. So now you got a promise, right? So now what we need to do so what is the promise let's try to see this one so here i am having one file <clears throat> okay so promise is a javascript native method which was introduced in the es6 i already told you so how we can declare a promise is so here i can take a promise variable and we can use the pro new promise so we can create an object new promise and here this one takes a callback so in this callback you will be having two arguments one is resolve okay and another one is reject so when you <clears throat> know that this promise will be success 
then you can say resolve okay that's it so now for example let's say that in order to call this promise so we need to use promise dot when this one is success so you'll be having dot then when this one is success you'll be having a callback function you can use a callback function and here i can call console.log success okay success so that is the thing so now if i try to execute i am trying to execute using the uh, node.js so anywhere you can use it so now we are able to get a success right so if you want to pass a value okay if you want to pass a value to the promise uh, so to the promise calling means then you can call something like let channel name or anything so channel name is equal to or channel name is leela web dev right so leela web dev so this is the channel name and here i can pass this channel name and here you can get the channel name okay, you can you can have a whatever name you want you can keep the variable name and here i can use data so that's it so if you try to see the output so leela web dev now i am able to successfully pass the data to the promise and also we can also give we can also use the promise chaining like dot then then also you can use dot data so you can also have another one console dot log of data so this time it will return undefined why because it is not returning any value so if you try to see here undefined we are getting so if you want to send means you need to return here return channel name is here i can use cha data okay so now if you try to see the output here See, Leela web dev is the first data and also here we will be able to see channel name is name. So this is how <clears throat> the promise is resolved. For example, any error has happened. If any problem has happened, then you can use reject here. So if any problem has happened, you can use reject. Then what I can do here. So now here I can pass. So we in order to catch the error, we can we need to use dot catch. Okay, it will pass. It will give will get the error. And here you can write something like console.log unexpected error occurred. Okay, that's it. Now, if you try to, try to see here, so you'll be able to see unexpected error occurred. So here we are able to get an error that unexpected. So this time the promise has went into the catch thing. Why? Because it has been calling the reject thing. So this is the main thing. So normally what will happen is the main usage of promise is, is so if you try to use set time mode okay set time out of and here after three seconds or otherwise after four seconds so you will be returning the value so here resolve channel name so i am resolving the channel name so now if you try to see here so now it returns a promise then it will wait for four seconds after four seconds you will get the value see now after four seconds you got the value where is this one yeah now after four seconds it got the value so that means here the http server request you can make an http request and if you don't know when this HTTP request becomes successful, when this HTTP request becomes successful, you can call this resolve and you can pass the data so that here the promise will wait. Okay, so this is the beauty of the promise. So now this fetch heavily uses this promises thing. Now hope you have understood about this promise concept. So this is where you can use the promise thing. For example, if you want to pass the resolve means so you can directly use promise dot resolve. So you can use directly and you can pass the value high. Okay. So this one is directly resolving. So this is our shorthand notation for resolving. Otherwise, you can use the long uh, long hand notation. You promise like that, creating an object. Hope you understood about this promise concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.